Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and our next video, which is going to be about magazine presets. This is a new feature added with patch 14.0 and like most things in Tarkov, the UI can be a little finicky and has a little quirks that once you figure them out, it's pretty easy to use. And that's what this video is going to be all about, showing you how to use those presets. Not only does it save you time with loading mags, it opens up some opportunities to do things you never could do before because it would have literally taken you 20 minutes just to get your mags alone ready. So let's not waste any more time and get right into the video. Okay, so to get into your presets, it's pretty straightforward. You basically right click on a mag, go to load from preset and create a new preset. Now there's two basic ways to look at this. One of them is magazines like we have here. The other is belt fed weapons like we have for the RPD or the PKM. And while there's some crossover on how these work, there's a couple of different things we'll talk about specifically for each type uh, so that you know how to load these properly. Though you can create presets that'll work in both. The very first thing I want to show you how to do is how to save the preset, because if you back out of this menu, you do everything and you can even load a mag, it won't save the preset and then you have to do it all over again. So the first thing you want to do is come up here and name a preset. For me, I usually just name it with whatever ammo is going to go in there. So like 882 and then we'll say AP63 or something um, and then maybe some green tracer, right? Figure out how you want to save it yourself. So for me, you know, let's say I was going to put um, and there's, this isn't the right way to do it. I'm just going to stick with the name, right? We have 882 in there, and then we put some green tracer, and then we put some AP63 in there, right? And I'm going to say there's 10 rounds of this on top, 10 rounds of this on bottom, and then the um, <clears throat> the loop in here in the middle. Then you just click save. And then that preset is saved, and it will load into any mag <clears throat> from there forward. It'll show up. Like if I come here and go to load from presets, you can see right here, 882, AP63GT, the one we just created. Now, the next thing I want to show you after you've got your stuff set is if you want a specific ammo. Now, it already knows that there's only nine millimeter because of the mag I, I, I have here, right? But if I click on the Gen 3, the, the M4 mag, there's actually two different kinds of ammo that can go in here. You can put both 5.56 five, and 300 blackout in. So if you don't want to deal with that, you can come into here for mags that have specific ammo types and just click on 5.56 five, NATO and it'll only have those, those rounds show up. Now for the next part of this, let's talk about what each of these little boxes mean. So the very top up here, you have top and then the bottom, you have the bottom. Seems simple enough, right? These are for uh, magazines specifically, but will also work in belt feds. But magazines are where you're gonna use this the most. Um, you have this to determine a specific number of rounds that you want either the top or the bottom of the magazine. The middle is the loop. This is the ammo that is either going to be looped back and forth uh, as you select in here, or it's going to fill the gap between the top, whatever you have selected top and bottom. The first one we'll talk about is a M4 mag actually here that I created um, to use a little bit of 855A1 for the penetration, fill the void with 855, everything in the middle, and then put five rounds of 856A1 on the bottom, which you could make this even 856, uh, because I thought I'm gonna have to do that because I don't even know if I have any 856A1. So that I have tracers at the bottom of the mag that let me know I'm almost empty. It's a trick that I've used for a long time and it's kind of handy, especially with bigger mags. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and click load magazine and it's gonna load the one that I have selected. You see these little red markers on there. So when I click load, as long as you have the ammo, it's gonna throw it in that mag. If you don't, from this screen, it's gonna prompt you to buy that ammo. So for example, I will put in, let's put in some FMJ on here because I don't think I have any of that. I click on here and I click load ammo. It's gonna tell me it wants to buy 24 rounds of FMJ. We're not gonna do that. I just wanted to show you, but if you go into buy parts, this will actually buy the 24 you need. It's kind of handy. Now, just to show you that mag loaded properly, I'll stick it in here, unload it. You can see we have our 856 on bottom, our 855 um, in the middle and our 855A1 on top. Now it only had one round because I screwed up the preload. Let's go back in here and um, let's set this uh, set this up properly. Let me drag these rounds out of here, put them away. Um, and you can see here it did the 856A1, 20 rounds of 855 and the 855A1 on top. So that is that specific preset, um, the 856, uh, 855A1. So you can see how that worked. Five rounds on top, five rounds in the middle, and it just filled the, the, the middle with 855. And this is handy for like, multiple kinds of mags if i go from a 30 rounder or even the six or if i go from a 30 rounder to a 40 rounder or a 60 rounder it will do the same five on top and five on bottom so just to show you for example i'll load this 60 rounder here i'll click load let me uh let me pull this ammo back out of here and i'll show you the difference of how we have we should have 50 rounds of 855 which we do so you got your eight your five on top and your 
your five on bottom with your 50 in the middle. So that's how you're gonna load that, that mag system with that specific setup. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. Um, the minimum requirement is you don't have, and you can, you can move these around too, uh, to suit all sorts of crazy needs. Like let's say you wanted, I don't know, let's say three rounds of eight of 995, and then you wanted some 855A1, and then on the, the, the middle of the mag you had uh, RRLP, and then the very bottom of the mag you had 856, but you wanted like five rounds of, uh, or three rounds of 856, but you wanted five rounds of 856A1 on top of that which I selected the wrong one, you know, you could have these completely filled out and there's, there's all sorts of stuff. And what this is going to do is it's going to have four rounds on top, eight rounds on bottom, and it's going to fill everything in the middle with this mod zero. But that's, that's not what we're after. We're not, we don't want to do anything weird like this. Um, let me, let me clear this out real quick and get to something more specific about, uh, how you can use some of these other systems. The minimum requirement you need is you need to at least have something in the loop. That is all you have to have. If you put something in the loop, then it's going to load in. Now, if you want to say you're going to have FMJ and then rip ammo, right? This is going to alternate each round, one round each in the magazine as it fills it. But you could also just tell you want uh, FMJ in the middle, but five rounds of AP on top. And this is going to put five on top and then fill the rest of the mag with uh, FMJ. And then for more specifically for mounted guns, let's say I say mounted guns, belt fed guns. Um, you may be aware of this. You might not be um, aware of this, but with a lot of mounted guns, every, we'll say every fifth round is a tracer. So if you want to do that, there's a couple of ways, um, specifically the easiest way is to go with the tracer. I will put PS ammo in there and then you don't even have to do this. You can, if you want, um, but you leave it empty and you change it to four. Now, when I go to load this magazine, it is going to put every fourth round as a tracer. And you can kind of see it on the mag when you look here. If you look, you'll see there's one tracer, four PS, and then a tracer. And that's kind of how belt feds operate. And there's some different stuff with that. And it's kind of cool. Maybe it's a little uh, mill sim for some of you guys. It, it's something fun to do when you're you're using an RPD or a PKM even, or even like a, a RPK or something with a drum mag. Every fifth round being a tracer looks cool. In fact, here's some footage right here of us just screwing around showing you what it looks like. And that's what it looks like versus here's what it looks like if you're shooting, you know, all tracers where it's just a bunch of tracers coming out of there, which looks cool too, but there, it's just a little bit different of an effect. But for more practical purposes, let's look at a, a preset that I've been using, actually been using quite a bit um, for my MCX that I, I've, I've enjoyed for this, especially for the 50 rounders. And it's more to do with a little bit of penetration, but also flush damage. So when I'm full auto in at somebody, if I'm hitting arms or if I'm hitting a little bit of armor, I know I'm not going to get through a class uh, class four plate or anything like that, or even probably a class three. Uh, so I wanted to try to mix up with a little bit of penetration, but also some extra damage and do it cheaply with ammo that wasn't super expensive. So I started running the Luger CCI with 882 alternated one round each back and forth. But I also put 10 rounds of green tracer at the bottom of the mag because that tells me when it's empty. And that comes in more handy than you might think. There's an instance here where I was uh, with Liston and I had no ability to hit this guy or kill this guy probably without a lucky shot. But I was providing covering fire so Liston could get out of uh, the line of sight and get healed up and get safe. And it ended up working out great. But as you can see, towards the end of the fight, my I started shooting green tracers and that told me I needed to reload, which allowed me to pick when I wanted to reload rather than just hit that click and then I'm stuck reloading right then. I could fire a couple of more rounds, get it behind a tree, reload, and then start shooting again with a new mag. And this works with all sorts of ammo. It works with pretty much every weapon out there. You can do this with if you want. It's just something I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this into this MPX drum and just kind of show you guys how that works. We'll go to our MCX 50 round CCI 882 and boom, there we go. Now, if you look in the mag, it's kind of hard to see. You can see a little bit that it goes from 882 to the CCI back to the 882. More importantly, if I unload the mag, you can see here we're 20, 20 and 10. So it did grab all that ammo. But one of the cool things is if I go with like a 40 rounder, like a lot of times when I'm running the MCX, I have 250s and like 240s, 241s or 230s, just as extra little quick loads. That preset still works in here as well. It's a little bit different. Yes, more of the ammo, uh, the bottom of the mag is used up with green tracer, but it still makes it easy to load my mags really quickly and get all that ammo in there. 
Now you don't have to go through and load these mags one at a time. I'm gonna, let me put this stuff away here real quick uh, and show you. You don't have to go through here and go from load from preset and go to uh, MCX 50 round each time, click and then click and then click. You don't have to do that. There's an easier way to do this. Go to load from preset and go to create your new preset, but then select the one you want. We're gonna go with our, the one we talked about earlier, the 85A1, 856 and then over here on the right, select the multiple bags and you'll it'll only let you do the same kind, right? I can't do a 60 rounder as well, but I can select these three 30s all at the same time and then click load magazine times three and boom, all three magazines are loaded. And then if I wanna quickly go to the 60, I just click on that and click the same thing and it loads it the same way. Now you can really let your mind go wild on this to however you wanna load your magazines, but it makes an, an old, what used to be a really painful process much easier to do. But that's it. That's pretty much it for the video. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. It tells YouTube that you like my content, so that'll serve more of it to you. But that's all I got, so we'll wrap it up there. I thank you guys for watching. As always, I wish you the best of luck in raids, and we'll see you in Tarkov.